Hi, this is Gary. Today on MacMOS Now, I'm going to take a look at Neat Receipts. It's a scanner and some software that helps you organize your receipts, bills, and other documents. So for years now, I've been jealous of my PC friends who have been able to use a program called Neat Receipts. It's this little lightweight scanner and the software that comes with it. It allows them to take the receipts scan them and it saves a copy on their drive so they don't have to keep the paper copies around. It also goes and reads what's on them and records things like the total amount and where the money was spent and all that type of thing. And they can put it in a spreadsheet. It's a really cool way to organize your receipts and save copies of them on your computer digitally so you don't have to worry about losing them and you can organize them better. Let's go take a look at how this Mac version of Neat Receipts works. So here's what the software looks like. You insert the receipt into the scanner and you press the scan button and it brings it in here. It actually saves a copy of the receipt, a really good copy uh, that you can actually click on and enlarge and read all the details on. And then it tries to scan that and figure out the date and the amount spent, uh, even things like the sales tax. And then it will put it into a list down here and you can export that list in a spreadsheet format or however you want to do it. Um, so you end up with not only a database of all the numbers and data but a database of all the images as well. So if you ever need to print out a copy of the receipt uh, you can do that and you can basically just throw your old paper receipts away or throw them into a box and not worry about organizing them because you'll have a copy on your computer. Now a key part of this is being able to read what's on the receipt, tell you the price, tell you where it's from. So how well does Neat Receipts do? Well not too well but it turns out it really doesn't have to. In my test it only got about 50% of the standard receipts right. The rest of them it didn't get the number off of or maybe it took the wrong number off of the receipt. But that's okay because I found out you really don't have to go through a process of scanning a single receipt and making sure it's perfect. Instead just go ahead and scan a bunch of receipts and don't worry about it for a while. You've got these great copies of the images of the receipts on your computer. So when you get a minute you can actually just flip through the images, look at the price and if it doesn't look right you can actually enlarge the image, get the price yourself and it only takes a few seconds to actually correct it. So I look at it as two steps. The first step is scan everything in and the second step maybe at the end of the month is to go ahead and just check over the data and make sure it's all right. It's still a lot easier than typing it all in manually by going through these receipts and it's a lot safer because you've got digital copies in your computer. So being a gadget geek and seeing this I wanted to see how good of a scanner it was and what I could use it for. So Neat Receipts already has something built in where you can scan a document rather than a receipt. So if you get another important piece of paperwork you can scan that in as well and have a great digital copy of it on your computer. You can also scan it in as an image if you look in the right place in the software. Now my test showed you can't use this as a photo scanning device. I mean it just doesn't scan well enough even though it does scan in color. But it certainly works great for scanning documents. I always have the problem where somebody actually sends me something that they want me to sign and fax back to them. Instead of going to the fax machine I'd much rather scan it in and send it to them via email. But I just have a flatbed scanner. But now with this it's a little bit easier and actually even has functionality in the software to allow you to scan a page and then click a button to add a page to that document. So you can basically build these PDF documents using the Neat Receipt Scanner. So it's a pretty handy device. It won't replace a flatbed or a high quality scanner for a photographer or for a graphic artist but it is a handy little device for business people. So what I like about Neat Receipts is it definitely is a great way to get all your documents into a digital format. Right now I still have an old fashioned file cabinet because people send me stuff in the mail or people give me something I need to sign and print out and all. So I love to be able to go and take all that stuff, scan it in easily and have it in some sort of organizer. And Neat Receipts can do that. So moving forward I'm going to be all digital on all my documents. So a couple other neat things about Neat Receipts. One is that uh, you can uh, use the optical character recognition yourself. So here's a document I scanned in that's just a bunch of gibberish. I can click on it and I can see the scan. I could also copy and paste it like so. I'll put it into another document. So you've got that as a bonus. Plus if your receipt comes in another format than paper, say you get an email or you're just viewing it in your web browser, one of the cool things you can do is you can print two neat receipts. So you can basically print and the same way you would actually select a PDF uh, to export to, you would select a neat receipt as a receipt or as a document and it would get printed and put into your neat receipts folder. So you can keep all your receipts together no matter how you get them. So the bottom line is I love neat receipts just as much as I thought I would. 
If you keep receipts or think you should be keeping your receipts, this is a great way to do it. I love the fact that I can keep it in a digital format and keep them pretty organized. I tend to be much more organized when things are on my computer than when they're in some sort of physical format. So take a look at the website, neatreceipts.com. Neat Receipts sells for about $180 and all the features and details are listed at the site. Until next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now. <music>